Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing part one of our two-part video series featuring Jimmy Choo shoes. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So today we're going to be focusing on these stiletto nails. I'm going to be working on my ring finger at the moment and I'm going to be applying this putty gel by Madame Glam and I'm going to be just putting this on the underside of the tip. So today's um, concept is going to be Jimmy Choo shoes and I've chosen today to do the most expensive shoe that they've had out in the market um, recently. It is worth 4.3 million dollars because it's adorned with some very rare diamonds so i chose this color underneath to act as like the bottom of the shoe if you have not checked out my um uh christian louboutin's uh video check that out i did um the red bottom stilettos um so in this case, I guess it's kind of similar, except this is just a regular bottom heel. Um, and I'm applying two coats of this just to make sure it's nice and opaque. Um, you can apply it. It's, it's pretty opaque in itself, um, but I put two coats just to make sure. So I'm using this Smile Line sticker. I'm going to be using a deep oval shape uh, just to kind of mimic um, the tip of the shoe. And I'm using this metallic red stamping polish by Born Pretty. Um, I just used it for the color. There's no rhyme or reason for the type of polish. I just happen to have that color in a stamping polish. And once that is fully, fully dried, we're going to put a coat of um, Top Coat by Jellish and remove the sticky layer. And um, this is actually a matte finish, sorry. I want to have a nice satin finish because the shoe um, was made uh, in a satin, so I wanted to keep that. If it was too glossy, it probably would not have that shoe effect. So I'm going in with some more stamping polish. This is a gold color, and um, in this um, $4.3 million shoe, it's really it looks pretty basic like oh really 4.3 why but <laughs> um it has this gold um lacing on it and it kind of cups the the stones that are going to be on this again in the shoe it's 4.3 million dollars jimmy choose because um they're using a bunch of rare diamonds I will not be using diamonds today, but I am going to be using rhinestones. So I'm going to try to match as best I can to the colors of this shoe. So far, so good. But in the rhinestones, I think there were like a, a couple of huge pieces that um, it was off in an angle. So it looked like it might have been a sapphire or it may have been an emerald. So I'm going to be um, using what I have to kind of mimic that look. So I thought it'd be super fun to do. I love to wear shoes. Leave a comment below if um, you like to wear shoes and if you could wear any fancy brand that's out there in the world, what would it be? I mean, I had a thing with Prada forever um but they are so many different brands out there that make super delicious heels i love heels um i do n i have like no place to wear them now but um if i could i would uh so yeah i'm using these two big pieces of rhinestones we've got a square and um i don't know what shape that is it's not a teardrop uh and it's not a diamond <laughs> and I'm not a jewelry person so I don't even know what cut that is <laughs> if anybody knows leave a comment below so I'm going to adorn the uh, edges of these jewels with some smaller circular rhinestones um, 
and then I'm going to be flanking that with some really super tiny caviar beads. So again, this is not going to be a $4.3 million nail, but I'm trying to replicate the $4.3 million Jimmy Choo shoe. I mean, can you imagine? I wouldn't feel comfortable walking out with $4.3 million, and I definitely wouldn't feel comfortable knowing that there are rare diamonds on my shoes because, you know, what if I do something to where I loosen the, sh the the diamonds off the shoe when I come back and I'm missing a diamond. I mean, this is 4.3 million. So I can imagine there's like a bunch of carrots on your feet and per carrot is how much, you know, and if you lose one, it's just going to be such a nightmare to wear such a shoe. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, to each his own. If I have it, would I? Would I? I don't know. I would have to be, like, a multi-billionaire to wear a $4.3 million heel and not think twice about it, I feel. But I feel like knowing myself as a person, I just don't even know if I would be spending that on a, on a shoe, to be honest. <laughs> But the designers of Jim Jimmy Choo, I think this was made like in 2018 or something. Can't remember when I saw the article, but um, they were banking on the 1% in China to um, fall in love with the shoe and buy it. I don't know if anybody has. If anybody knows anything about this shoe, let me know. I mean, if you, I guess, Google $4.3 million Jimmy Choo, you'll find um, the shoe. <laughs> and I don't even know since then if there's been any other Jimmy Choo's that cost more than that. So if, um, if you find that out, let me know. But, um, you know what, I really like doing these nail, like, replicas of shoes in a nail because every time I see, like, nails, sometimes, you know, my tip is the ballerina tip and it kind of, like, gives me shoe vibes. So I'll try to, like, you know, design a nail based on, like, what kind of mood shoe I'm feeling, you know. But anyway, I'm putting on some shanty striping polish. It's like a gold glitter just to add more um, glitz and glam to this um, gold rope. Um, if you look in the, uh, the, the shoe that's out there, it's like a braided gold embellishment. So I thought I would do that. But that's pretty much it for this nail. Look at it. This is the $4.3 million inspiration nail. <laughs> it's so simple. And I love that matte finish. It does look like a satin um, sheet of fabric was placed on there. And underside looks like a normal shoe. Well, there you have it. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me again next time for part two when we continue the most expensive Jimmy Choo shoes. See you again next time. Thanks. Bye.